Resident Evil 4 Remake released earlier this year in March and was one of the best Resident Evil games to be released in a long, long time. And I personally think it was the best Resident Evil game released since maybe Resident Evil 5 in 2009. And of course, when any new video game releases, speedrunners are straight on to figuring out what is the fastest way to complete the game. And RE4 Remake was no different. Within a few weeks, the game was getting beaten close to under two hours. The most interesting part of this run, however, was the boss fights and the strategies used to completely demolish them. In today's video, I'm going to show you how all the bosses in the New Game Pro speedrun get completely decimated without using any glitches and minimal use of the rocket launcher. But before I get into today's video, I want to thank Square Enix for sponsoring this video with their award-winning MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV Online. Play through one of the greatest Final Fantasy stories ever online with a free trial up to level 60. There is no time limit on the free trial, so you can spend as much time as you want to get there. I played for a good couple hours and only managed to get to level 7 in the end. The free trial has 14 different jobs to pick from, and you can also play all the jobs on a single character just by changing your weapon. The character customization is vast, with many settings to choose as well as your starter job. I went with the little Lalafell chieftain and stuck a little moustache on him because it looked pretty funny. The amount of content in the game in terms of story and the vastness of the map is unlike anything I've ever seen before, and you should definitely take advantage of the free trial and experience it for yourself. Click the link in the description or scan the QR code on screen to download the game. And thank you once again to Square Enix for sponsoring this video. The first boss fight in the game is Del Lago, which is fought on a small speedboat that luckily contains an infinite supply of harpoons. It takes around 20 of these harpoons to kill the big fish, but only if you get a one cycle. Otherwise, his health will regenerate to a stupidly high amount and the fight can take a lot longer. The two tricks to this fight is that hitting Del Lago square in the mouth will do a huge critical hit and a lot of damage, and the other one is throwing the harpoons faster. You can aim, Throw the harpoon, let's go of the aim button and wait for Leon to start going down and aim again. This will allow you to throw the harpoon much faster and make it easier to get the one cycle, thus saving a lot of time. El Gigante is the second boss in the speedrun and happens to be relatively soon after the Del Largo boss fight. All that's needed is a rifle with 4 firepower, 3 ammo capacity, 2 reload speed and the standard fire rate, as well as a single hand grenade. Shoot the El Gigante in the head 4 times and that will spawn the Plaga out of its back. One shot on the Plaga will stun the El Gigante allowing you to get in a few more shots on the exposed weak spot. Reload the sniper rifle, make some distance from the monster, and stop the charge by using a single hand grenade. A couple more shots to the El Gigante's head to re-expose the weak spot, and the Gigante will be dead after a couple more shots. There may be two of these nasty chainsaw ladies, but in the speedrun, only one of them has to die. And that's the one on the right. Two shots to the sister's head and hopefully she will face her back towards you. You can then go in with the knife to deal a lot of damage in a single hit and finish her off with the TMP. Killing her in this style prevents the very long death animation. Escaping from this fight is slightly easier than the fight itself. Use the riot gun to get rid of any enemies blocking your way. Throw a flashbang to stun all of the enemies including the remaining Bella sister and potentially free Ashley if she's being carried away. This will give you just enough time to crank the door and leave the area. This fight went through many iterations before speedrunners settled on just using the TMP. Duck the boss's initial attack and spam the TMP into his head hopefully getting a couple of shots onto the weak spot. 
Mendes will hopefully drop down after the first magazine is empty and you can empty another full 40 bullets into his weak spot, sending him into phase 2. Phase 2 is a lot trickier than the first, because the area that is not on fire is reduced significantly and Mendes is much further away, and if you've used the TMP without the stock before, you'll know how inaccurate it is. Taking your time and aiming as best as you can, shoot Mendes with the TMP while dodging the wooden beams being launched at you. Eventually he will die and that will be the end of the village segment. Now this boss is a very ferocious beast, but you don't even have to fight it at all. The speedrunners run away from the Garador, shoot a bullet at the floor to trigger the Garador and then throw one hand grenade. That will give you enough time to crank, open the door and climb up the ladder without having to fight the boss whatsoever. Even though this chieftain is kind of a regular enemy, he does need to be killed in order to progress in the game. One sniper shot to deal some good damage and also alert the enemies. Shoot the red barrel to deal some damage to the red zealot. Shoot the enemies out of the way with the riot gun and then shoot one more barrel which will deal a lot of the enemy's health. Run up the stairs and a couple of shotgun shells should do the trick. There are seven knights that need to be defeated after picking up the lion's head. For the first two knights, shoot them both once in the weak spot with the sniper, followed up by a single pistol shot into a kick. This will expose the weak spot which can then be one shot by the sniper rifle. On the second set of knights, Ashley will actually become quite useful, believe it or not. She can throw the special lanterns from up above and stun the knights, making it a lot easier. They can then be kicked and one shot with the sniper rifle, and this is especially useful for when you get overrun or the knight that has the plaga on its back that's really difficult to shoot. Now this fight was one of the hardest in a casual playthrough, but surprisingly in the speedrun, this is probably one of the easiest. Enter the boss room, shoot the Garador on the left a couple of times to get them both to aggro and come out of their locked cages, wait for the Garador on the right to move its head and shoot the bell to attract both of the bosses. Then go to the right side of the room, kill the scythe wielding enemy and throw three heavy grenades followed by two hand grenades. Using the nades will also blast away any of the enemies that are close by and might be coming towards you. And it's really that simple to do this boss fight. Surprisingly, this boss fight is exactly the same as it was on the original Resident Evil 4 game from 2005. You could either wait it out for 4 minutes, running around and evading its attacks, spend a ton of resources shooting it while it's frozen, even more resources shooting it while it's not frozen, or just freeze it and blow it up with a single rocket launcher. The double El Gigante fight has been sped up a lot since the initial speedruns, where we used to flash the unarmored El Gigante and drop him into the pool of lava, and then wait for ages to Luis to place the dynamite on the armored one's back. But the much faster way is to use three heavy grenades and six magnum rounds on the armored El Gigante to kill it. Right. 
Then I can flash the unarmored one into the pool and the fight is over in a matter of seconds. On to one of the more fun fights now, and that is the Krauser knife fight. Upgrade the knife power to plus four and go on the offensive, attempting to stun lock him by hitting him in the head. The fight is made significantly faster if you get lucky with a kick that deals around 30% of his health, depending on how much HP he has at the time of the kick. A few of these kicks and the fight can be over in no time at all, but usually it will take a little bit longer. Now this fight I would say went from being the most difficult to being the easiest with the discovery of the golden egg strategy, making this fight a piece of cake. Two sniper rounds followed by the golden egg which will do a whopping 70% of Salazar's HP and stun him, you can then finish him off with 6 magnum shots. It's important to note that you have to hit the weak white body with the golden egg in order to do the damage and get the stun, otherwise you'll need to do the fight without the egg or reload a save. This is the last difficult fight in the New Game Pro speedrun and it has three phases. For phase one, use the Killer 7 at plus three power and headshot Krauser twice. Followed by using a sniper round to the head. Krauser will then use a flash grenade and you can move on to the next area. After dodging the crossbow arrows, run into the next fighting area, stand in the middle and keep shooting Krauser with the Magnum until he flashes. Then dodge into the laser which will blow up the mine and deal a lot of damage to Krauser and he'll run away. Phase 3 is the most difficult one by far. Skip the cutscene instantly, hold back and wait for Krauser to land. 3 killer 7 shots to the head and a kick to start the final phase. And basically we'll just rinse and repeat this. Crouching the grab attack and parrying any of the other attacks. And now for the final fight of the run, Osmond Sadler. Another easy boss fight which does use a little bit of strategy to make it a bit faster. Shoot the rocket instantly at Sadler and that will be the end of phase one. But phase two can be sped up by waiting till after Sadler does his first attack and spamming into the weak spot with the killer seven. Finally, a look that suits you, Sadler. A monster in and out. Still, I need to cut this date short. It's not me. Ada will then drop the rocket launcher a lot faster, and once you shoot the special rocket, that's game over. And that is how speedrunners destroy the boss fights in Resident Evil 4 Remake to make the speedrun a lot faster and a lot easier.